What's going on YouTube? It's your boy V Faded Man. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Omi and the Hellcat and his latest silhouette. Let's get into this joint. You gotta find your passion, then you stick with it. One thing about this game, you gotta stay consistent. Now, if you guys didn't know, Omi and the Hellcat and Air Kai are getting sued by the biggest shoe corporation in the world, which is Nike. Unfortunately, the silhouette and the color blockings that these guys are dropping. Nike is not happy with that, so therefore they are suing them. Now with that being said, Omi and the Hellcat and Air Kai are still dropping silhouettes back to back, you guys. And it's kind of crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because I would be kind of startled, man. I would be a little bit shooken up after getting papers in the mail threatening to sue me, you know what I mean, from Nike. You get what I'm saying? I would literally switch up the whole silhouette. But listen. Y'all know it's very hard to come up with an original silhouette, you guys. Everybody is not that creative, and everything is just not going to pop. You get what I'm saying? If it's not a name behind it, it's not going to pop. You get what I'm saying? It's just that simple. And the names that they have, they definitely hold weight. But at the same time, to drop a silhouette, uh, it may not sell out. You know what I'm saying? It may not sell out. It may not do numbers. But listen, they're still dropping colorways, and I also own a couple pair of Air Kai's. I own a pair of Air Kai's, and I own a couple pairs of Air Omis. You know what I'm saying? Due to the fact that Air Omi shoe is affordable, and the colorway that he's dropping today is actually a colorway that I feel like I have. It's kind of similar to something that I already have. The silhouette I'm about to show you guys mimics a Air Jordan 1 Chicago, you guys. And I do have the Lost and Founds right here, and I'm going to bring up the Air Omi that he is dropping today boom now as you guys can see they definitely mimic each other you know what i mean this shoe definitely mimics a jordan one this is an air omi 2.0 this shoe definitely mimics a air jordan one you guys now this is the colorway that he's dropping the only difference is that i've noticed from seeing the promotion video which i will show you guys in a second is the age midsole is just white on the newer uh the newest shoe that he's dropping and this color red i'm gonna put it up to the to the camera so you guys can see it's not really a bloodshot red it's like a it's like a it's a tad bit lighter you guys a tad bit lighter man but listen let me show you guys this promotional clip that he's dropped for these shoes man Now, that was a beautiful video. I need to ask Omi exactly who the hell shot that shit because that was clean as hell. Very creative, man. As you guys see, the silhouette that he is dropping is definitely a color blocking of a Chicago Jordan 1, man. Now, like I said, they're getting sued by Nike, man, but these guys are literally coming after banger after banger after banger. Now, I dropped a video maybe some months a couple some months ago you guys and this it uh thank god it hit about like 28k views you know what i'm saying that's neither here nor there but in the comment section is so many people bashing this silhouette and i feel like listen all of y'all that's bashing this damn shoe y'all done probably wore knockoffs y'all probably wear penny loafers y'all probably wear thong sandals Y'all probably wear everything that you don't fucking like. You get what I'm saying? That people rag people about. And I'm going to say that just to say this because they call this shoe a fake Jordan 1. It's not a fake Jordan 1 because it's not a fucking Nike sign on it. It's a damn Thunderbolt. You get what I'm saying? And it's definitely different cuts on the shoe that people don't pay attention to because they don't own it. You know what I'm saying? They just see an image and they're like, oh, no, I'm fake Jordan 1s. I'm not rocking those. It's not a fucking Jordan 1. Look at the back of the shoe. As you guys can see, it's a cut on the Air Omi. There's no cut back here. Now, as far as the height and shit, of course, you know what I mean? It, they had to, they got this, it's a silhouette of a Jordan 1. You get what I'm saying? But listen, this shoe is not a fucking Jordan 1, you guys. A damn Thunderbolt on the shoe. And also, the shoe is not as narrow as a Jordan 1. If I put this up to the camera, you guys can see, look how much narrow the Jordan 1 silhouette is to an Omi. Now, yeah, I wore these shoes, but that's not going to change the fucking shape of the inside of the foot entrance. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to change that at all, you guys. This is how the shoe came. It's wide, but like I said, the toe box is a little bit of wide, and if you really want to keep it a buck, this shoe reminds me of a Dada. And if you don't know what Dada's are, they used to sell those at a store called Value City in the city of Cleveland, Ohio. I'm sure you guys have one wherever the fuck you're from. They used to sell Dada's, and I remember my pops got me a pair of, uh, um, obsidian blue and powder blue and white uh, Dada's they were low top this right here 
this whole entire this thing is thick as hell might i add pause but listen this is mad crazy thick right here you guys this is not like a regular jordan one at all totally different now <laughs> that shoe actually came in a pack it came with another pair and there is a jordan silhouette that is supposed to drop or was rumored to drop i don't know when they plan on dropping it you guys because it kind of vanished after all of the talks of all of these other silhouettes came out but it is a black and blue patent leather joint that shoe right there that we just seen is red white and black patent leather and the shoe that i'm about to bring up that it came in a pack in is black blue and aged right here you guys this shoe is very clean it's a very sturdy shoe don't care what you guys talking about it's not a cheap ass shoe it's literally good quality you guys like very fucking sturdy you know what i'm saying i actually get to fucking hold the shit in my hand so i know exactly what the quality is and this quality is much better than air cause you guys beautiful silhouette man as you guys can see this is beautiful tumble this not even tumble leather this beautiful patent leather you guys like this leather i didn't wear these like a couple times like no cap the leather doesn't get stiff it's not cheap it's not like you're gonna put your foot in here and this shit gonna all hang out and shit. The glue, the stitching on this shoe is beautiful, you guys. Like, these shoes are not made cheap. Shout out to Air Omi, man, because he definitely didn't make a, a cheap knockoff. You know what I'm saying? He didn't make a cheap knockoff. Uh, Air Kyle, on the other hand, his shoe is mad cheap. No cap. Now, the materials and the colorways are fire, but the shoe is just... It's comfortable due to the fact that the shoe being cheap. Like, if you step on a fucking nail outside in his shoe... I can guarantee you that motherfucker's going right through your foot, man, because the bottom of his shoe is so fucking squishy. I don't feel like digging that shoe out to show you guys a demonstration about that shoe, but listen, I got videos up of that, of me squeezing the shoe, bending the shoe, everything. Air only you cannot do that to that shoe, you guys, I promise you. You can do more bending and shit to these than you can. Actually, this shoe is actually made pretty sturdy, but a couple of my other pairs of Jordan ones, you can definitely bend them shits up for sure. You know what I'm saying? You can bend anything up when you force it, but when you're not forcing it to really like, you're not putting no muscle behind it and it's bending, that's crazy. And that's what Eric Hyde's do, y'all. Now, like I said, it doesn't take away from his creativity because dude is mad creative, mad creative. Omi, on the other hand, not so creative, you know what I'm saying? As far as the color blocking, it's always coming from another shoe that Jordan has dropped. Eric Kai, on the other hand, he has the uh, 2.0 silhouette, you know, as you guys all know, if you haven't seen the bigger, Omi and Eric Kai been beefing, uh, Omi wanted him to apologize, and he didn't apologize, told him to suck his dick, he didn't apologize, so, Omi took the 2.0 design instead of keeping the zero that he had originally, and the zero looks a little different, let me get that for you guys real quick. This right here is an Air Omi Zero, you guys. This shoe is much different from an Air Jordan 1 silhouette, but this one is much more similar to an Air Jordan 1 silhouette. As you guys can see, the toe box is like flatter, but the cuts on the shoe, he has a straight line right here. You know what I mean? It's, it's, I mean, at the end of the day, it's still the same shape as a Jordan 1, but this definitely is much different from the 2.0. Definitely much different. As you guys can see, like I showed you guys, no cuts on the back, no nothing like that to make it different. Uh, it's still straight right here. And on the Air Jordan 1, you got the swiggle right there, you guys. You see that swiggle right there by the lace holes? It's not right there by this shoe. This shoe is like more robotic, more like more like box. You know what I'm saying? Like aerodynamic type shit. Like this shoe is like no creative bends at all. Like this shoe is just straight lines and a damn colorway. Now, there's nothing wrong with this shoe. This shoe, this is actually like a shoe that... Uh, this kind of is like the same material as the Air Kai right here. This is the shoe that Air Kai drops. And as you guys can see, look at that. You guys see that shit? That's crazy. You should not be able to do that to a shoe, you guys. Now, like I said, when you put this shoe on your foot, it's mad comfortable. But like I said, you step through a fucking nail or something like that, you guys, it's a wrap. Like you going to the hospital for a short because your shit is going to be fucked. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have a damn nail in your foot and you got to get that shit removed, man. But... These guys, man, like I said, getting sued by Nike and it's mad crazy, but these guys are still dropping silhouettes and it's ridiculous, you guys, man. I'm, uh, I wish the best for these guys, man. I, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm on edge. I kinda wanna cop a couple pairs from Omi. He has dropped a plethora of colorways, man. Some colorways that I've never seen before on the Air Jordan 1. And I actually wanna grab a couple pairs before they become obsolete. Know what I mean? Before Nike tells them to just can everything and i see them guys hustling so crazy to get their revenue is like crazy you know what i'm saying like it's crazy it's actually frightening because i wouldn't dare challenge nike 
you know what I'm saying, on, on, on nothing. I wouldn't even be selling them bitches no more. I would probably donate them, you know what I mean, sell them or sell them for a dollar, you know what I'm saying, like something. Like, I would get them shits off my hands. I wouldn't want nothing to do with the silhouette. Now, Omi has other silhouettes that he's been pitching. And the silhouette that I just seen on his page, which I'm about to show you guys, mimics a, a New Balance. You know what I'm saying? The fashion comes from out here, just the shape of the shoe and how wide it is. doesn't come from stealing the actual shoe. This is taking these panels is actually making a direct copy of the shoe. It's basically stealing that shoe. So what you do is that you start to build a shoe and erase all the lines and just keep the outside shape. So this is what you end up with. Now, the inspiration of this back panel is the inspiration from the back panel of our zeros. All right. The inspiration of this front panel right here is the inspiration off of our new Fastlanes. So this is how you start to build a shoe that looks nothing like the 990. All you do is have the same shape, the same way the shoe fits. And now this ain't complete. When this shoe turns around and be done, it's going to be 100% different than a 990. Now this is a direct copy. This is what some people do. <laughs> Not pointing no fingers. You know, you just change just the logo. That's it. And But you do that, you're killing the shoe that was established in 1982 you don't want to take from that you want to take what's great from it it's just the fit you know just how wide the shoe is like i like the shape but the sole completely different all the lines are completely you see this back panel how it's coming straight down this back panel goes like this around you know how this swivels how it has one two three four five lines how the 990 has two lace holes up here this has three and, and more modern sharp looks. Um, the tongue is going to be different. The side profiles are different. This has a front toe box. This has a weird, like, long toe box. So, you know, and I don't think we're going to put any logos on the side of the shoe like that. I just think it looks fire. But the way the bolt is integrated inside of this shoe is going to make it fire. So before you um, start seeing that a shoe is a direct copy of something, this is a direct copy of something. Shoes, this is how every shoe company does shoes. All right, they go, and this is actually a real designer making these shoes. They're going through everything, everything, everything until we get to a final version that when you put that shoe, right, with the 990 on top of each other, they're a completely different shoe. Thank you. Now, we are not all creators, you guys. We don't all sit here and just try to draw up shoes and shit, but that shit is hard. That shit has to be one of the hardest fucking things to do in the world due to the fact that if you don't have a name, it may not pop. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these shoes that people wear, like Balenciaga's, uh, Alexander McQueen's, like I've, I've done, I done talked about McQueen's and Stan Smith's, that shit mimics each other. Uh, listen. It's hard to come up with a silhouette, but like I said, without a name behind it, you may not do no sales. Cause Balenciaga dropped the bulkiest fucking ugly shoe I've ever seen in my life. It's ugly, it looks uncomfortable, and it's it, it's heavy as hell. I go to Saks and pick that shoe up. It's mad heavy, man. Mad heavy. I'm not fucking with that. I don't like none of the cuts. I don't like none of the designs. I shoot like a damn space boot. And people buy it due to the name. You know what I'm saying? Or due to another person wearing it. And listen, my other video, you guys, like I said, people in the comments bashing this shoe. Listen, if the shoe is not for you, fuck it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fuck it. Now, you are entitled to your own fucking opinion. But at the end of the day, it's not going to stop me from purchasing the damn shoe. It's not going to stop me from purchasing a Jordan 1. It's not going to stop me from purchasing shit because I'm my own person, you guys. So at the end of the day, if you like what you just saw in this video, man, go cop this shit. I will put a link down in my description for you guys to get to Reloaded merch. And go get that fucking shoe, man. Go get that shoe. Homie's always dropping shit, and it's affordable. Like I said, it's affordable. It's affordable. It's about maybe 180 160 You know what I'm saying? 175 One of them, man, because I haven't copped a pair since... I feel like my pair got leaked with Eric Cod. I created a pair of shoes for Omi to drop and um, for All-Star Weekend in Cleveland, Ohio. Yes, All-Star Weekend was in Cleveland, Ohio, as you guys know. I wanted them to drop a colorway for uh, All-Star Weekend. Now, it's this mad crazy. 
out of nowhere, Erykah dropped the same exact fucking colorway that I drew up for Omi. Now, the only reason Omi didn't put it in production do was due to the time blocking. You know what I'm saying? The timing wouldn't have matched up and it wouldn't have never made it in time. Also, he was already bagged up. You know what I mean? He was bagged up for like a year or so. He already had colorways set to release already. And that was kind of a bummer. But when I seen Erykah drop it, I kind of felt like these guys were in cahoots. Until I just sat back and started paying attention more, and I'm like, okay, these guys aren't even fucking cool. Eric, I just, you know what I mean? Great minds think of fucking like it. He dropped the shoe, but the shoe did not have just as much detail as I put in my shoe. I put a lot of love and detail into my shit, man. I made that shoe while I was in barber school, and unfortunately, it did not drop, you know what I mean? So the world didn't get to see my creation, which is okay. You get what I'm saying? Because now I'm doing fucking YouTube, and you guys can see me create on here. You get what I'm saying? It, it just wasn't in the cards for me right there. And thank God, due to the fact that it didn't drop, you know what I mean? I probably, I know it would have had success due to the mean, and it was a LeBron shoe dedicated to St. Vincent St. Mary with his accolades right here on the side of the shoe. I still have messages from Omi with the picture of the shoe in there, but I'm not going to get into that right now. That's for another date, you know what I mean? Comment down below if you want to see those screenshots, and I'll definitely show you guys the conversations that me and Omi had as far as the silhouette that I created in the 2.0. Definitely want to drop a fire 2.0 for the city of Cleveland. Y'all, it's year 2023. Go for what the fuck you want, man. Go for broke. You know what I'm saying? We only live one life, man. And thank God that my mother was able to see me accomplish the things that I've accomplished. You know what I'm saying? And now she's walking with me as I continue to try to grow this YouTube journey. I will grow on YouTube. I will stay consistent on YouTube. You know what I mean? That's what you need to fucking start saying. I fucking will. You know what I'm saying? Know that you're going to fucking do something. Know that it's going to fucking take off. Everybody's not going to like you. That's why it's a fucking channel. So if you do YouTube... And you're trying to be like somebody else is not going to fucking work, man. You got to be your fucking self. Be yourself. Me, I cuss a lot. I don't give a damn. This is what I do. This is me. I'm original to who the fuck I am. You get what I'm saying? And I buy what the fuck I want to buy. Rather it's an Omi. Rather it's a fucking Jordan. It can be a fucking K-Swiss for all that fucking matters. Listen, you know what I'm saying? You guys can say whatever the fuck you want to say in the comments. These shoes are mad fire to me. It was creative. No, they're not the only people to use the fucking Thunderbolt. They didn't steal it from... A Asian that put it on a shoe first. They didn't steal it from the person that put the Grim Reaper on the side of a, a low top dunk. You get what I'm saying? Like they didn't steal that shit. They just used it just like they did. That that Thunderbolt probably not even copyrighted by nobody. Listen, a lot of people use that fucking Thunderbolt or a Thunderbolt. You get what I'm saying? It's a lot of a lot of prints and shit that's being reused. So stop bashing people, man. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Just leave it at fucking that. But at the end of the day, don't let the nobody's comment stop you from buying what the fuck you want to buy, man. Do what the fuck you gotta do to make yourself happy. You get what I'm saying? And like I said, it's year 2023, man. We trying to elevate. We not trying to stay here. We trying to get here. You get what I'm saying? We trying to actually surpass this shit. We trying to shoot for the fucking moon. We want to shoot for the moon in year 2023, man. So go for broke, man. If you want to do something, if you sing, if you dance. You know what I'm saying? I used to sing a little bit in my time. Me, 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 me. I used to get busy. You know what I'm saying? I used to I used to do a little something, but then I got cool. You know what I'm saying? I started paying attention to the way that people talk shit about other people. And I got a little bit, you know what I mean, self-conscious about the things that I did. So I sang behind closed doors. You know what I mean? I used to dance. You know what I mean? I used to jerk 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 i used to do all types of shit man and i stopped doing it because i started feeling like people would judge me now at this day and age i don't give a fuck i don't care what you think about me you know what i'm saying you can hate me you can dislike me you know what i mean you can love me and I, i'm gonna love you back you know what i'm saying either way it goes i'm going to love you if you comment something negative i'm going to like it you know what i'm saying i don't give a fuck man i don't give a fuck man and you shouldn't give a fuck either do what you need to do, man, to get to where you want to be. You get what I'm saying? There's people out here in the world that like you and accept you for who the fuck you are. You get what I'm saying? With that being said, it's V-Faded, man. Until my next video, we out. First, you got to find your passion, then you stick with it. One thing about this game, you got to stay consistent.